Hey everybody, welcome to another Blender Quick Tip. Today we're going to be talking about how to make bone chains that react to gravity. So as you can see in this example right here, it can be used for things like hair, uh, little bits of cloth. Uh, but how this works is that we're going to use three things. We're going to have a bone chain, we're going to have a very low definition mesh object separate from our character that's going to drive the deformation, and they're going to use empties as intermediaries so we can drive the bone chains with the vertices that are deforming in our base mesh. So let me let me stop this animation and go into our default view and I kind of break down how this is set up. So let me turn on everything else. So hide the camera. So we got a bunch of stuff going on right here. Uh, we have the main character mesh and then we have a bunch of empties, some bone chains for the hair, and then we can't see it right now. So I'm going to hide this and then I'm going to hide the armature. And here, if we go into local view, this is a separate mesh object of 35 vertices. And this is driving the entire simulation. So even if you have a really weak computer, you can use this method to drive basically real-time cloth deformations for objects. So I have basically just, you know, edge chains uh, for all the specific joints that I want the hair to deform on. So, you know, about four or five a chain. Uh, jump back out of local view. And then what I did is uh, I'd shift S, put the cursor to the selected uh, vertice, and then I drop an empty on each one. And what you want to do is you want to parent the empties to each point. So as the vertices in this object that we're going to put a cloth simulation on moves, the empties move with it. So if we alt age everything else, we unhide stuff. Now, you take those empties, and we go into our uh, armature. You can see all the bones here have IK constraints on them, and they're all one chain length long. If you go into the IK uh, over here, and they're each targeting one of those empties. So the tips of the bones are moving where the empties are, and the empties are moving where the mesh is. So if we put that all together, you know, if I select the head, and then the last thing you got to do is you got to take uh, that initial mesh object, that 35 vertices with the cloth simulation on it, you need to parent that to your head bone. So it moves when you move the head, or you know, whatever in your particular example is going to be driving the motion of the object. So if I play this back, you can see they all deform. And uh, if I stop it, again, if I go into here, eh, it's very hard to select all these things. So let me, let me just hide this again. Hide this. We go back here, and we play that animation again. You can see this is what's moving. This is what's deforming, and it's taking everything else along for the ride. So uh, if you want to check a full 20 minute tutorial that shows start to finish how to set this up on a simple example that's a lot easier to follow than a bunch of hair strands on my main character, Sarah, you can drop me a buck a month on Patreon, get access to that tutorial, and uh, I think at this point three other tutorials I've done, as well as all the tutorials in the future. Uh, I also do lots of PlayStation 2 style models like Sarah featured in this video. So if you want to check those out, you can go to PolyStation2 on Instagram. But uh, until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, definitely let me know if you use this method to make any cool stuff. Uh, I just want to mention quickly, uh, don't don't give me credit for it. I found this on Blender Stack Exchange. I'm just sharing the love in video form. So I'm not a genius. I'm just a fantastic Googler. Uh, so have fun. Let me know if you use it. And uh, take it easy, guys. See you in the next video.